Hey, this is Brad Gill of Next Home Lifestyles, back with another market snapshot for the city of San Jose for the week of February 28th, 2022. So we'll take a look at current active inventory for single family homes, condos, and townhouses. We are up to 439 active units across the city. We're up a little bit from last week. Pending sale wise, we're seeing a difference. We've jumped 9% and we're up to 718 units pending up from 659 last week. So now let's take a look at the trends. For current inventory, over the last seven days, we had 278 listings come to market, which was down 8% compared to last week when we had 301. So a bit of a reason why we had not as much gain in total overall active inventory is there were just less homes listed over the last seven days than previously listed for sale. But the biggest difference is we had a jump in the number of new contracts being ratified over the last seven days, 17% higher at 193 contracts ratified versus last week we had 165 buyer demand is kind of fluctuating one week coming up higher one week kind of dropping off not sure if that has a direct correlation to the recent rise and fall of interest rates but there's definitely been fluctuations each week between increased buyer demand and slowing buyer demand but overall we have 718 units pending sale and only 439 active it's still a ferocious seller's market out there. And let's take a look at market expectations, which confirm what's going on in the marketplace as only 23 homes citywide came off the market over the last seven days. Remember that could be that they expired on the market. It could be that it was withdrawn because there needs to be a repair done or the property wasn't ready to show, or it could just be a canceled listing or someone changed their mind and didn't want to sell anymore. Looking at price changes, only 23 across the city as well, only 5% of active inventory. So again, buyers are pretty much paying everything the sellers want when it comes to asking price. And with lower inventory and continued high demand, there's no reason why they wouldn't. Interest rates did fall a little bit, so buyers got a little bit of a reprieve as the rates came down to 3.89%. That's down slightly from 3.92%. But overall, interest rates are rising year over year. We were down below 3% same time last year. So again, if you're looking to buy with prices continuing to go up and mortgage rates rising, now is probably the best opportunity you have. As always, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys like and subscribe for more current market updates. I'm Brad Gill with Next Home Lifestyles and hope you guys are gonna be watching next week.